Hello, my hearties. Welcome back to another video. I'm Cheryl. And I'm Lewis. Hey, y'all. Say hi to my fam, to PLG Hello, fam, Lewis. PLG fam. How we doing? Hey, y'all. This is my brother, the one that I'm always talking about on my videos. And he is here from... Medellin, Colombia. Y'all, good thing he said it because I would have probably pronounced everything wrong. So anyway, y'all, I'm going to be doing a little interview so y'all will know what it is for an American to live in Colombia and learn how to speak Spanish. But, bro, you knew how to speak Spanish before you even went there, right? I knew a little bit. I knew a little bit. Okay. Uh, really basic kind of Spanish, which is basically like enough to get around. Uh, you know, one of the best things about uh, Medellin is that everyone there is really friendly. So even if you oh, don't wow. speak a lot of English, people are a lot of Spanish. So people are going to go out of their way to really uh, to really help you, to really help you get around. You know, directions, things like that. Uh, definitely, you know, if you don't speak Spanish, you know, don't be uh, you know, really afraid. hesitant or reluctant or afraid, okay. you know, just to jump into it. Now, I know, I don't know, um, do they do classes down there for those that yeah. really don't know how to speak Spanish? Yeah, so definitely classes, language exchange is also a nice way to meet people. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, let, the, let my fam, let them know what made, what... What possessed you to go to Colombia? Why did you choose to go to another country? The the first time I went down to Colombia, it was uh, to meet a girl that I met online. Okay. And so, like, I met her and, and we hung out. You know, ultimately that didn't work out, but I just kind of fell in love with the city. Oh, so, wow. You know, so I kept going back and I went back a few times and I made some few friends and uh, I knew I found a few places. Uh-huh. And, um... After about the third time I visited, I started looking at apartments mm -hmm. and uh, made the move. Wow. Okay. And um, how was the cost of living? Is it cheaper <clears throat> than... Well, guys, because you know we live in New York where it's quite expensive. Very expensive. Now, let them know, is it cheap? cheaper than new york um yeah well i mean you know like they, they, they if, if you could make it in new, like new york if you can make it there you can make, make it, it anywhere wow <laughs> um you know that's even compared to a lot of places in the u.s but the great thing one of the one of the really cool things about medellin is it's really cosmopolitan like i can walk everywhere i gotta go i can walk to the starbucks you know mm. there's, a, there's a caruja which is uh which is nice. It's kind of like an upscale supermarket. You know, there's an Exito. Uh, Exito, you can kind of think of it as like a, like a Target, things like that. So, you know, there, everything that you want basically is there, except for bagels, pizzas, and good Chinese food. Oh, wow. Uh, everything that you want is right there in Medellin. Okay, so you got your Ubers, you got your DoorDash, your DoorDash, your, all the apps that everybody out yeah, here uses. Yeah, like, so, like, like the equivalent the Colombian, the Colombian equivalent of DoorDash is Rappi, oh. which is that. Which is way Want to spell better, that for us, bro? R A P P I, which is way better than DoorDash. Just about anything you want, you, know, you call them up, and within an hour, it's at your door. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, do they pretty much? Oh, what they don't do? They celebrate the same holidays as. What holidays that we celebrate that they really don't much celebrate in Colombia? I mean, so what's different for you? I know you mentioned back in the day. You said, "Well, sis, well, I know it was around Thanksgiving, and I called you. You said I got to go find." They, do they really get into the how? Yeah, so like there are a lot of things that are like very American, like Thanksgiving, obviously Fourth uh, of July, uh, Labor Day, Memorial Day. You know, those don't really exist uh, down there, so. You know, like you do get a little homesick sometimes at Thanksgiving. Mm. You might want a little turkey, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Christmas is Christmas. Like the, the food is a little bit different, but you know, everybody's still celebrating Christmas. Everybody's still celebrating New Year's. Um, what's but there's no shortage of of holidays. And what's funny too oh. is a lot of the time, like you talk, you, you know, you talk to someone or you go somewhere, a place is mm -hmm. closed. You know, they they say, "Oh, it's festival." Like today is a holiday. 
today? Well, no, no, no. Oh, no, just uh, in just general. Generally. Like, okay. Uh, okay. A lot of holidays. Oh, wow. And, you, and he goes, well, what, what's, 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 what's today about? What's the holiday about? Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, I think today is about, like, it's less about the meaning of the holiday and more just about the holiday. I know because I do. I go on YouTube, and um, I always looking up Med, what is Medellin, it? Medellin, Medellin right. Colombia, and I mean they be out there. Of course, all the girls with the BBL, the big butt, and the pretty. They pretty, mm -hmm. nice looking men and women out there, and mm -hmm. it just seems so different. Every, the thing that I'm looking now is it is it what TV presents where they out there with a lot of vendors mm -hmm. and. Everybody yes. hanging around. So, so Medellin is a lot like New York in that you know it has a lot of different flavors. Okay. It has a lot of different flavors, but you know to use your word, you know they're vibrant. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right, they're vibrant. Um, you know, and there's always something going on. You know, oh there's wow. There's always something going on. There's always something. There's something going on for you know for younger college students. Oh wow. You know, to give you an example, uh, I, I can send you some pictures, but to give you an example, you know, there's. In Poblado, where I live, college students and everything, they like to hang around like a park called Parque Poblado, mm -hmm. right? Or, uh, you know, not too far from where I am, there's a place called Provenza. Okay. Um, you know, I'm, I'm laughing too because <laughs> like, like there's, there, there's, there's songs about all these places, like, and mm -hmm. Serato. And up, I got you in Poblado. Okay. You know, Carol G made a song called Provenza. But, um, yeah, but they got a bunch of cool places just to hang and be and, and things like that. Okay. Now, you know, what is the bad guy? What, who was that they said? Pablo Escobar. Yes. Mm -hmm. What 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 was about? Is so, it? So, Pablo Escobar was just a very successful drug dealer. Okay. Um, Oh wow! And That's the first time I heard somebody say a drug dealer being successful. But okay. I mean, but I mean, just like fa like fa oh, I mean, oh, that's the way they yeah viewed him. Okay. Mm, well, I mean, he's kind of I mean, he's he's kind of notorious in in Medellin too. But uh, you know, Pablo Escobar was just essentially a drug dealer that okay was good at being a drug dealer. I mean, he did some terrible <laughs> things. Obviously, but right, right. He was just really good at it. Right. Okay. Um, and and so he became very wealthy, and mm -hmm. uh, he uh, he had a lot of control and influence over Colombia, you know, to okay because like, he had money, you know, he had a lot yeah. of power and influence. Okay. Um, but really, you know, those those days, you know, when you when you watch Narcos and things like that, and you hear about this, that, and the other, mm -hmm. you know, that's not that's not Medellin anymore. You know, Got you. Medellin anymore. Yeah. Well, that's what anyway. Yeah, everybody, everything exactly. changed. Just exactly, mm -hmm. or, or just like any place, mm -hmm. if you're looking for the wrong thing, you'll find you're gonna it. Be around the wrong element, and bad things can happen. Right. But you know, if you're just living your life and and trying to have a good time and just you know just being respectful, uh, you know, it's it's just it's just a nice place to be. Okay, let me, okay. Y'all, I'm trying to think of every question. And y'all, comment down below in the comments any question that you guys would love to ask um, the ex Lewis, my brother Lewis. Just, it, okay. And I, listen, I, I may answer your questions from Medellin. Yep, he will, because he, be, he does look at my channel, and he'll, yeah, you comment back. To, you know, mm -hmm. they comment questions. He'll comment back to you guys. Oh, and how long have you been living, actually been living there? Uh... <laughs> So as soon as Medellin, so for during the during COVID, uh, you know Medellin was closed. There were no international flights. October first was the first international flight from the U.S. to Medellin. Uh, I went to Medellin on October third. I've been living there ever since. Of what year? To, uh, twenty twenty. Oh wow! Okay, so almost two years now. Almost, almost two years. years. Oh yeah, wow! But, but two days after they allowed people to fly to Medellin, mm -hmm. I flew to Medellin. And also, that was for your birthday month as well, that right? Was my birthday month as well. Okay, cool. Now, do you have any friends in Medellin that's from New York? From uh, you know, New York? No, no. I got some friends from. Got a friend from LA. Got a friend from Chicago. Oh wow! Uh, you know. Guy that met Pooh Guy Tennessee. 
New York for whatever reason just haven't met anybody from New York yet. Oh wow. Well, well I've met people from New York but not not But not living there. Yeah, yeah. So the ones that you just men mentioned is actually mm -hmm. moved down they're actually living there. Oh yeah, like they they moved down there, they're living there. Mm. Um there's a there's a big expat community in Medellin. And like I said, I'm like, you know, I'm trying to keep it a little bit of a secret. <laughs> he don't want you guys to I follow. <laughs> I don't want to, to get the word out. It's kind of like, it's, it really is like a hidden gem. Now, you did mention to me, because remember I kept mentioning to you, like, okay, guys, yeah, my, he was he was the one, my brother was the one to also took that trip to Georgia with me and um, my friend Devon and Shyla. He took the trip to us to Georgia. And, um, my aunt, God rest in peace, my aunt Nick, she also went with us. But anyway, he was the one who took the trip to Georgia. And you did say something about, do it remind you a little bit of Georgia? Just a little bit? Like the, so, <laughs> so Georgia has a lot of flavor, you know, where we were in Atlanta. You know, got a lot of flavor, got a lot of character. There's a lot of things going on. Um, you know, it's kind of a thing where, you know, I grew up in a, in like a little, really rural kind of place uh you know where we are now is really suburban mm -hmm. but you know the thing about atlanta you know when we went there you could just kind of walk outside your door and be entertained yeah you know and the same thing with medellin you know, oh wow like 10, 10 11 o'clock at night oh wow you know you walk out your door and and you're entertained you oh know, wow to do. Like, there, nice. like either there's people or like i said you can go to provenza um they have in the streets, you know what I mean? Like yes. they converted the streets into like little pedestrian malls and things like that. Wow. So, you know, there are people like sitting. There's a lot of having, vendors and stuff. Yeah, just having tacos and beers. And yeah, and then there are people like little, having little uh, like little handmade crafts. And, See, that's that's my cup of tea, uh, tacos and, like and tequila. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you, could, you, could, you could get your tacos and tequila, but like you have to, you know, like you, you, you haven't got, you're not, Officially in Medellin, unless you have a little bit of aguardiente. You told me about aguardiente. that. Aguardiente, that's the official drink in, of, of Medellin. Wow. Well, maybe next time you... Oh, no, you said they sell that up here, right? Yeah, you can get it. Okay. Get it. So maybe I'll share that with them on my channel, which is for my B-Day, which is coming up Friday, July 8th. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So happy birthday, your girl. I'm not going to tell you how old I am, but your girl is getting old. <laughs> And, okay. and so, and so, so some of you will know this, some of you won't. But when you do, it's arriba, abajo, por centro, por dentro. Um. It's like up, down, middle, inside. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. He lost me. Okay. Say fat lady game in Spanish for them. Say again. Say fat lady game in Spanish for them. I mean, like, I don't know how that would translate. Let me see. Y'all, we tested his Spanish skills right about now. <laughs> how would that translate? All right. Lady if Let you me, don't no, want to... No, 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 hold on. Oh, okay, on. okay. Um, pues, equipo de mujeres ma ma maravillosas. Equipo de, de las mujeres ma maravillosas. Sí. The only thing I know is see yes. Okay. <laughs> well, so basically, basically, basically is like is it's team marvelous ladies. I mean, like that's how we kind of translate team uh, marvelous ladies. Okay. Okay. Equipo de las mujeres mar maravillosas. Wow. Okay. All right. Now, are you in a relationship as of now? Mm -hmm. Oh wow. Okay. And um. You do you have you you had a uh, uh, an, um someone to join your family. What? How long you had your puppy now? About Roscoe, yeah. Roscoe, yeah, yeah. Roscoe. yeah. So he cute. is so cute. He Roscoe sent me came pictures along about a year ago. Oh, and how old yeah, is Roscoe? And what ago. type of puppy is he? So Roscoe is a multi poo and uh, he's just the best. He's just. I mean, I, you have a picture. I'll, I'll, I'll send you a picture so you can kind of. I'll send you the picture. Uh, okay. Or do you want to see it now? No, I'll insert it in the video. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Bosco is the best. Aww. And he's missing Ros Bosco. Yeah, well, I'll see him tomorrow though. He's missing him, y'all, and he's leaving us. The oh. bad part for me now. Okay, get to the airport. Why do you always never tell me pick him up, but always want me drop him off? 
But this, I'm so glad I don't have to do this. But, yeah, he's going to miss. So, let me see. Oh, how's the weather down there? The weather is, I mean, the honestly, the only way I can describe the weather is perfect. It, like, just, it, it rains in the afternoon almost every day. It rains in the afternoon. Really? Just, I mean, just expect it to rain at some point between 2 and 4 o'clock. Every day? Just about every day. It's, it's going to oh, rain. Man. It's going to rain for, I mean, listen, sometimes it's going to rain for about 10, 15 minutes. Sometimes it's going to rain for an hour. But it, it just usually rains. But apart from that, the weather is like 70, 72, low oh, humidity. Oh, man. Perfect. So it's no winter. Like, that's just year round. That's just year round. Like, oh, like, nice. They, like, they have no concept of what a season is. Yeah. So like, basically, what, you. What, what's funny mm -hmm. is, like, when I think of, when I try to remember when something was, just growing up in New York, it's like, well, wait a minute. Was it cold out? Was it hot out? <laughs> what time of year was it? You know what I mean? Like, that's, mm -hmm. that's, that's how we place things. But there's none of that. There's none of that in Medellin. Wow. So when you pack it, okay, obviously you came here and you, you made your trip back to us in the summer. Mm -hmm. But now when you come up here in the winter, are you prepared for that? Being it's so warm, no. you know it? Right. No. I could imagine. No, what's funny is, uh, I don't know, like the cold cuts through me now. Like even, even just going into the supermarkets, it's uncomfortable. Like, oh, wow. And y'all, he looked good. My brother look good. I'm going to take you out to his feet all the way down. Now, let them know, bro, you was once heavy. How much weight did you lose? Uh, about 100 and... Let me see. So, right now, I'm about 120 pounds. And how long did you... He did it natural. No yeah. weight loss surgery here, y'all. How long did it take you to actually drop that? About 10 months. Okay, I'm right behind you, so... About 10 months. All right. That was quick. Yeah. All right, so... um. I guess we're going to about in this video, but is there, I'm trying to think, did I cover everything? Is there anything more you want to share with them? Feel free to. I uh, know, like, listen, like, um, uh, thank you so much for, for watching the video. If you watch it, you know, to this point, if you have any questions, comments, please let me know. They'd be happy to answer them. And maybe, maybe we'll make a second video, part two, to be continued. Yeah. All right, y'all. I'm glad you guys joined us. And right now, I'm going to turn this video so I can enjoy what little time I do have with my brother while he's here. And Equipo de las Mujeres Maravillosas. Les amo. Muchas gracias. Que tengas un buen día. Dios te bendiga. Drop purple hearts in the comment. We love you guys. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. All right, y'all. Bye, y'all.